Hello, Internet. Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Our University of Utah Utes kick off the 2023 football season. Let's break down the defense. If you are part of the 95% of our audience that is not subscribed, please consider doing so. Thank you. But first, let's go ahead and make a quick thank you to our followers so far. As a reminder, we are doing a $500 giveaway. Once this channel is monetized, five lucky subscribers will each get $100 from us as our way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for more. Go ahead and first talk a little bit of, uh, a little bit of Utah Utes football, man. Oh, man, I love me some Utah football. So we are, at the time of recording, eight days away from kickoff of the college football season which is august 31st 6 p.m kickoff here local time in salt lake city utah tell me about it man what are you feeling i'm literally so excited for the utah football season to kick off i almost can't even sit still yeah it's gonna be a great game for one i love the last video we had a ton of comments look out for the gators yes. look and i love it man i mean florida gators are going to be a very tough football team i mean they're, they're no joke they're in the sec they've got a ton of really really talented players all over the field Comment below. Let us know who you like for the Gators. But I'll tell you what I really like about Utah. And that's, that's just insanely talented returning defense. Yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into that. Now, obviously, most people are talking about uh, the issue with at the quarterback position. We may touch on that. We'll get to that later on. But let's go ahead and focus on the defense for, for this week. First of all, before we jump into the, the returning roster, let's talk about how good the Utes were last year on defense and what we got coming back. Mm -hmm. So Utah was ranked second in scoring defense in the conference of the Pac-12. And they're top ranked for total defense in the Pac-12. Uh, they gave up the fewest points per game in the conference at 20.4 points per game and they also led the conference in sacks and tackles for losses so last year the Utah held it down on the defensive end they did and this year is going to be very much of the same yes so let's go ahead and talk about defense lost we lost clark phillips uh mo how do you say that diabate yeah Muhammad that right? diabate yep okay he and went yep. undrafted ended up with the browns yeah which was very cool to see yeah uh, but those those are the those are the key departures from last year's defense. Let's talk about who we have. Let's start with the D line. Do you want to start there? Oh yeah. Tell me about the D line. How do you feel about them coming into the, the 2023 season? I mean, they're they're returning just about everybody on that D line, man. I mean, they still got Van Fillinger, Jonah Ellis. Um, they you know as far as on the ends, um, Van Fillinger played in 27 games in his career had 19 starts. This guy was a four-star athlete coming out of high school. Um, he was the number two player recruited out of the state of Utah. He's a big time defensive end. Um, he is a presence out there. If you even miss half a block on him, he's sacking everybody in the backfield, your quarterback, your running back. It doesn't matter. It's going to be a tackle for loss. He's quick. He moves very well back there. He's one of my favorite defensive ends to watch um across all of college football because the dude is just a beast so tell me a little bit about what you think about samante peppa samante pep dude he had some really big moments all the way through last season it was like whenever the utes needed a big time stop he was there to just like bury the center and make a huge tackle for loss in the backfield he played in a ton of games last year and and he's returning to come back and just keep owning that can't forget about junior junior tafuna he's got a ton of preseason accolades already he started every game for the utes last year maintain and healthy season is huge the 22 pac-12 all-conference team he's going to be everywhere again he's going to be all over every single play he is going to be one of those guys that's in the all-american conversation i like it as the season goes yeah for sure the d line's insane I, a lot of it you know like you mentioned we have strong return on that uh what about uh kareen reed kareen reed was pac-12 all conference you know first team right first team absolutely yeah i mean kareen reed's a stud dude you know he's gonna be working besides lander barton who mm -hmm. was the 22 pac-12 defensive freshman player of the year nice but i mean he was a four-star recruit out of high school he was the number two player in the state he's big he's physical he hits very very hard and he plays downhill all the time yeah uh the scouts have him as a huge threat in the hybrid role for and with strong pass rushing ability is what's been noted across several different scouting uh, yeah reports on him so yeah really excited to uh, see him out there am i allowed to talk about miles battles now 
You are absolutely <laughs> allowed to talk about Miles Battle. <laughs> oh, Miss Transfer, Miles Battle. Honestly, I see this kid starting. What do you think? Miles Battle is a very good football player. He he was a four star recruit out of high school. He's played four years at at Old Miss, which is an SEC school that yeah they don't get a bunch of slums on the football field there at Old Miss. Some good competition in that cornerbacks room. You know, the Utes lost obviously Clark Phillips, but uh, J T. Broughton is a senior this year. He's played in 35 games for the Utes. Mm -hmm. He was a Pac-12 honorable mention in 2020. And I mean, this dude had five tackles in the Rose Bowl. One of the biggest games the Utes played in last year. JT Broughton's going to be ready to come. And he's he thinks he's ready for those minutes. Yeah, I guess that's true. Who would you put first and who would you put second? I think Battle's probably going to eke him out. I think it's going to depend on, on, on what the schemes are, though, because Miles Battle's a big dude. He's like six foot four, where JT Broughton's only like six foot foot six foot one i believe he's okay. a little bit smaller so battle has that height advantage he's just a really really good player man i hope to see him play he's a big athletic dude and i kind of hope he he earns his he earns his right to play and you know ends up in the nfl somewhere next year yeah when it comes to miles battle i thought he was just going to come in and take the starting spot like you said the size advantage is there we haven't even brought up cole bishop yet oh cole bishop safety safety man he was there at pack 12 media day yeah better golfer than i am better golfer than you are <laughs> but i mean cole bishop's a junior you yep. know what i mean he's got 24 career games 19 of those being starts he ranks second among all pac-12 secondary players with 5.7 tackles per game in his career yeah he's gonna be running with uh they have that uh kid who just came off of his mission that's gonna also be uh playing safe yeah for nate ritchie he was a stud dude he i mean he, well, he played in the 2020 season he played all five games he's gonna be looking to get some of them safety minutes the yeah. Utes are just stacked in this defense dude they're they're three and four players deep in most positions they can just reload the talent off the bench over and over and over there's gonna be injuries yeah, yeah this for is... sure there's gonna be injuries that's all there is to it yeah uh Honestly, I just think this team is, there's a lot of key losses they they came that left the team last year, right? Tell them they got along with transfers from Ole Miss and Stanford. Oh, yeah. Some returning from missions. I just think, I don't think they're going to miss much of a step on defense this year. The defense has been retooled. They're going to be ready to go right out the gate. They're going to keep them in every single football game this year. Guaranteed. All right, folks. Well, once again, folks, my name is Darren. That is AJ. This has been the DNA Sports Recap. Till next time.